Hey everybody, back again. Now you know I always say that I'm going to slow down in the winter time, and uh, you know I was going to take some time off from gardening outside, but I can't stop doing the indoor gardening. So I want to give you a tour of what I've got going in all the different areas in tonight. That way you can see what we got going in the different tents, and then I'll start probably doing separate videos for the indoor tents next week. But uh, we got our lettuce up here. This is our uh, gourmet lettuce blend. I got four trays, well five trays. Two on top here. I'm trying some different uh, seeding techniques to see what's going to give me the best yields this year. So it uh, looks like I got a little bit of a, a bare spot in the middle there, but it might come, you know, it might be just because the soil, the cover soil over the seeds is a little thicker there than on the sides. But uh, you can see those are germinating really well. That's underneath those new lights up there. Looks like I need to retake that one. It kind of popped loose, but eh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and then on these, I decided to try out and see if uh, putting these little uh, greenhouse kind of plastic covers over the top of the trays would actually help. And I'm only doing trays, one tray per shelf and then two on that one up there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I want to give them the best light possible. Because we're not eating a whole lot of salad right now because we're still eating a lot of the vegetables that we've got out of the garden and stuff. Paul is stuck in the fridge. So I don't need to have a whole lot of lettuce on hand, but you know, for Taco Tuesdays and that type of stuff, we're going to need that. And then also, you know, for other meals that we're going to have, the salads in the winter to keep those vitamins coming in. And over here, this is the salad bar LED area, you may remember. I've got the, uh, the Vates kale going inside of here. And it's starting to pop up. You can see the, the little seedlings are starting to come up here. And this tray, I did this tray a week after this tray. So you can see the seeds are really starting to come up inside these two areas here. And they're starting to come up in the middles here. Back in there. So that's the Vates kale, like the ones we have out on our outdoor deck, on the, uh, the table by the glass sliding doors. And so and then I'm running my uh, four LED lights. I've got those there. I've got two of the, uh, the bright white ones from Roledo, and then the other ones are the Mars Hydro, multicolored with the uh, red, blue, and uh, white spectrum LEDs. Then inside the big tent, we've got, of course, the poinsettia. And then that's the poinsettia that we took outside, and I used that as a cutting off of this poinsettia. And you can see how big that's gotten by being back inside the indoor grow tent from when we used to show it out in the, uh, the yard when it was by the fire pit. This is the pepper plant that used to be outside. I decided to bring it in and see if I can keep it over the winter because it had a lot of nice new growth this fall. And then uh, this is one of Paula's indoor plants that I saved from the... Uh, the compost pile. I thought I would try regrowing it inside the grow tent in here. And this is a pepper plant. I have no idea how this pepper seed got inside of here, but I'm going to up pot this as well as that uh, poinsettia probably next week or maybe this week after work one night. And the rest of the tent right now is just kind of bare. I haven't put anything inside here. I did get a new uh, Roledro. It's the same brand as this here, this bright white, except it's a, uh, a red spectrum version of these. And they had a sale because I'm a previous customer and I bought a couple bunch of these. They gave me a 50% uh, off coupon. So I thought, you know, what the heck? You know, they normally are 65 bucks. I got it for 33 bucks. And I thought, you know, we might as well buy one. And then uh, the coupon was also good uh, up until this last Friday. So one of the guys I work with that does a, uh, a cannabis grow, he bought two of them for his indoor tents. So he's gonna try those out and see how well they do with uh, his little two, two foot by four foot tent. So we're going to kind of, he's going to give me feedback on how well they work for the marijuana, uh, the cannabis. I guess you could say marijuana, who gives a crap? <laughs> this guy's, you know, that's what he's going to grow with his. And then I'm going to be growing food with mine. And then uh, you'll be able to see how well they work. All right. Well, this has kind of been an update for all the different tents. And uh, I'll talk to you guys again. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.